Again, hello everyone. Welcome to class those academic reading summary compilation question session. Very good. I see some new faces here too. Okay, let's hello Rohina, Zia, Gutami, Anjali, Pratik, Talha, Dave, Suman. Oh Suman, I haven't seen you for a while. I, I think Farhana Sarvir. Sarvir. Jaipal Muskalin. Hello, everyone. I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. I am not that very familiar with your names. And my name is Burchin. You can call me Miss Cheng too. Today, I will be your teacher. And together, we are going to solve some questions related to uh, related to summary completion. First, I will share you some tips and strategies with you. Then we are going to see some questions. Can everyone hear me clearly? Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay. Let me start. First, let's start with the question format. These questions are fill in the blanks questions, so you should find the appropriate form of the words from the passage. Sometimes the question might the question may provide you with a list of words to fill in the blanks within the summary completion questions. So there will be a vocabulary bank, there will be a word list for you, and you will complete your summary. It's usually one paragraph as a summary, and you are going to complete this paragraph from the word list, or it can came as like just fill in the blanks question with no word bank. There are so two types of summary completion questions. If you come across uh, a summary completion question with a list, you are supposed to write correct letters. You are supposed to write the correct letters, not the words. And can everyone see the screen? Can everyone see the like the reading summary question? I am reading it from somewhere. Can you see the screen? Okay, good. And the words given to you as the vocabulary list are usually synonyms of the words in the text. So they won't give you the same words if there's a word bank, uh, they will give you the synonyms of the words. And uh, if they don't give you the words, you will directly take the words from the passage and write them. The questions usually come up in the same order as the text, but it can uh, maybe it can be different for different uh, passages. We will see. The answers are located in more than one sentence. Let's remember these are summary completion questions, so it will be taking from like the from f um, from some sentences, and we will see a summary. It is usually located in the same or a few paragraphs, not spread across the text. So, so they won't take the, like the, they will take a paragraph and maybe they will paraphrase it. And maybe they will sum, summarize it in one sentence, but you don't have to look for, for one sentence uh, to the whole text. Do not change the form of the verse in the passage for them to be correct in the sentences because you are going to take the same words from the text, same word from the passage, and write it. Let me share with you some tips. If you need to change the word, change the answer, the answer will probably will, 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 will be uh, wrong. So, your sentence should be grammatically correct. Do not write the synonyms of the words. Use the words from the passage. This is very important. As I said, 
if you are if you need to change the word it is probably wrong even changing the singular to plural is not acceptable if the instruction tells you to use the words from the texts and pay attention how many words you can write let's see an example if it is says choose no more than two words and or a number please pay very close attention to the end or two choose no more than two words and or a number it means you can write two words you can write one word or a number and you can write two words and a number so it can be three characters too, but one of them, like it says, no more than two words and a number. Is it okay? I hope so. Okay. Uh, what are counted as one word? The optional was D is a word. A, N is a word. They are all counted as word. And we have hypernated words. Hypernated words, they are like, they are like long term. Long term is an is a hypernated word. When they come together, they are counted as one word, not two words. For example, long term solutions. This is a two words answer. So pay attention to this one too. Check if the word you choose matches the grammatical structure of the sentence. This is the biggest tip that I can give you. Your summary should be grammatically correct. And make sure that your spelling is correct. Always proofread it. And pay attention to meaning. Does it make sense when you proofread? When you read the summary again? So far, so good. Okay, let me see. Let me continue with this strategy. How we will solve this question type? Because this is a very common question type, especially in the passage three, but you can come across in uh, every section and it is a very common question type. First, we will read the instruction and find out how many words we can write. Then we will read the summary carefully and choose the keywords. We will decide what type of word is uh, we should write to that blank. Should it be a noun? Should it be a verb? Should it be an adjective? This will give you a lot of uh, tips. Look for the keywords and their synonyms and paraphrases in the texts. So maybe we don't have to read, the, not maybe, we don't have to read the whole passage. We will just look for the keywords and try to find it, find them. Read the relevant sentences carefully, compare the text in the summary and find the missing word and see if it is matches with the question. Both in terms of meaning and grammar. So we will look for two things, meaning and grammar. Be careful not to repeat the same words in the question. This is a common mistake. Students are repeating the same thing in the question because they don't realize that uh, the, the summary is the paraphrased version of the reading text. So there are lots of paraphrasing in this type of questions because this is a summary. They won't give you the exact same uh, words, exact same sentences. They will give you a summary. Check the word limit and write your answer. Yes, this is our strategy. Are you ready to start? First, we are going to start with passage one. Reading passage one, you should spend about 20 minutes on question one, one to 13, which are based on reading passage one below. So this will be your question that you will see during the exam. It says 20 minutes, but 
I advise you to spend 15 minutes on reading passage one because it will be easier related to passage um, <clears throat> passage two and three. So it is uh, it is better to spend like 15 minutes on reading passage one, 20 minutes on the passage two, and 25 minutes on passage three. But it is up to you. Okay, the pearl. Nice. Complete the summary below. Choose no more than two words. So we won't write any numbers. Choose no more than two words from the passage for each answer. So we are not going to write no more than two words. Okay, let me see. In history, pearls have had great importance within the men of wealth and power, which were treated as germ, gem, uh, gems for women in, in 1992, for women in at, um, maybe in somewhere it can be. Let me continue. Also, pearls were even used as a medicine for people in for people in pain, maybe for people in somewhere, maybe for people in I'm not sure. So I am trying to understand the grammatical structure of it and um, and what can I put there? There are essentially three types of pearls, natural, cultured, and imitation. Hmm. So now, ancient time, I don't know. Uh, and try as, okay, one more tips. Do not try to predict the answer before reading it. There are essentially three types of pearls. So these are my keywords. Let me look at my keywords. Map. For example, in here, gems for women, gems for women in somewhere. Also, pearls were used as a medicine. Medicine can be my keyword. There are essentially three types of pearls natural, cultured, and imitation. These are my keywords. Now, this is the usage of usage of pearl. Now there are the types of um, pearl and most freshwater cultured pearls sold today come from China, while somewhere island is famous for its imitation pearl, freshwater cultured. This is one type of it, imitation pearl, second type of the pearls, good quality, natural pearls, this is the third type, are exceedingly unusual. Some Something somewhere again of the manufacturers some of the glitterous pearls, while someone something produce somewhere larger size. Again, this is my keyword. Larger size ones due to the favorable environment along the coastline. I think environment, maybe I will see a, um, a synonym for this, and coastline. I'm assuming that I will see a synonym for this one. In the past, mm -hmm. somewhere, something in the Persian Gulf. So this is a big keyword for me. That's when I will look for this one. Produced the world's best pearls. Nowadays, the major, major remaining the suppliers of natural pearls belong to India. Mm. Now, I am going to send you the questions, the, the paragraph from the chat part, and I will give you one minute to read it. Because I know that people need to read it too. Thank you. 
Okay, are you ready? We can start. Okay, first, in history, pearls had great importance, wealth and power, which are treated as gems for women in, and we will look for the six as medicine for people something. Let me start. The pearl, I won't read the whole text. I'm looking for my... Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the keywords. The pearl has always had a special st status am among the rich and powerful throughout the history. Throughout the history. For instance, women from ancient Rome went to bed with pearls on them so they could remind themselves how wealthy they were after waking up. Oh, this is an interactive lesson. So when you find, the, when you see the answer, Please write it from the chat part. Pearls used to have more commercial value than diamonds until jewelers learned to cut gems. In Eastern countries like Persia, ground pearl powders could be used as a medicine to cure anything mm, medicine it looks like another keyword to me including heart diseases and epilepsy so come on you can do this what is the answer for five and six what do you think and we can you can write no more than two words One is ancient Rome project, congratulations. Very good, you are writing it with the capitalization rule, the capitalization rule too. Very good. How about others? Persia, ancient Rome, ancient Rome. Yes, you can write. You can write all of the all of the answers in the reading and listening part with ancient Rome. Rome, ancient Rome. Ancient Rome. This is a little bit a little bit a little bit walk for me. Yes, very good. In here I can see it. For instance, woman from ancient Rome went to bed with pearls. So it is in ancient Rome. If I can write, it says no more than two words. If I can write ancient Rome, and it is, if it is given me in the passage, I wouldn't risk it, and I will write ancient Rome for it. For example, that can be a Rome, and that can be an ancient Rome. I don't know. Exactly. And my answer can be ancient Rome other than the Rome. So to be sure not to risk anything, I will write ancient Rome. Use a medicine for people in Persia. Very good. Okay. There are essentially three types of pearls. So I will natural culture and imitation. Most fresh water cultured pearls sold come from China, while blah blah island famous for imitation pearl industry. So I will look for imitation pearls. Let me find the types. Mm, it is here, natural cultured and imitation. They will make us read the whole text. Um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cultured one. Mm. Mm. Cultivated one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, I haven't seen the imitation one. <laughs> China. Cultured pearls. Hmm. I'm looking for imitation because my answer is somewhere in the imitation one. Oysters. Imitation pearls are one another different story. The island of Mallorca in Spain is renowned for its imitation pearl industry. In most cases, a bead is dipped into, the sol into a solution made from fish scales. But this coating is quite thin, blah, blah, blah. Yes, Sumya, I think it is on the F2. Let me send you the questions again from here. So what do you think for the question seven? Seven. Mallorca. Very good. And it says island. And in here, I can see the island, the island of Mallorca. And here it says while something island. So they, they have changed the structure a little bit. Mallorca. To be sure, because this is a name, uh, this is the name of a place. To be sure, look at to it uh, very carefully and write it. I'm looking at it again. Oops, I lost it. Yes. Okay, good quality natural pearls are exceedingly unusual. So I will look for good quality natural pearls. Something often manufactures some of the glitterous pearls while something produces larger size ones due to the favorable environment along the coastline. Ancient Rome, Persia, Mallorca. And, and I can get the sense that they will be some, they will be some place names, name of the places. I was here, so I will continue from here because I don't remember seeing anything related to the good quality pearls. Shape, size, color, quality, natural, cultural, and imitation, which are basically Worthless. For jewelers, one, one to that natural is culture sent to a game lab or perform an X-ray on it. High quality natural pearls are extremely rare. Hmm. High quality natural pearls are extremely rare. Japan's Akoya pearls are one of the glossiest pearls out there, while salt so, so sea water of the Australia is a cradle to bigger pearls. Mm -hmm. So, my students, what do you think for eight and nine also? Eight and nine, let me see. Yes, eight and also nine. Because I see larger size, bigger pearls. Pay attention to the synonyms. Pay attention to the paraphrasing. Very good. I see many Japan and many Australian answer. Do you see? Let me let me write you the. Uh, mm -mm. It says, for example, larger size, but in the text I see bigger pearls. Can you see the answers? Others do. What else? 
For example, it says high quality natural pearls are extremely rare. Japan's Akoya pearls are one of the glossiest pearl out there. So it, in, it says here, it says um, good quality natural pearls are exceedingly unusual. Japan often, Japan's Oyoka, but I don't know. Japan often manufactures some of the glitteriest pearls while is a cradle for bigger pearls. Histor in the past, some months in the Persian Gulf produced the world's best pearls. Nowadays, the major ma remaining belongs to India. So my answer probably not India, but before the India. Historically, pearls, hmm, Persian Gulf, particularly around Bahrain. What do you think? I think so too. Let me write it Bahrain. In the past, around Bahrain in Persian, I don't think so. Bahrain seems more natural, right? Let me see. In the past, around Bahrain in the Persian Gulf, produced, no. In the past, Bahrain in the Persian Gulf produced the world's best pearls. Nowadays, the major remaining suppliers of natural pearls belong to India. Very good. Do you have any question? Do you want to look at the answers again? Or I will continue. I think so too, it was an easy one. But, pay, but it was easy, but we have read the whole passage for this one. So you should be like the quick to answer and do not hesitate. This is a section one, uh, passage one essay. So do not hesitate when you are writing the answers. Then you see an answer, just write it. Where about the Japan? It says Japan's Ayoka pearls. So Ayoka is the name of the pearl. They call their pearls Ayoka. Japan's Ayoka pearls. So Ayoka is not a place. It is the name of the pearl. Okay, let's continue. Reading passage Two, you should spend 20 minutes on question 15 to 26. It is stress of workplace. I think we are familiar, we can be familiar with this subject. In here, we are seeing a passage two, there can be more paraphrasing. Maybe they, they like summarize um, a specific place, but they have used many synonyms and paraphrasing, we will see. To do write no more than two words and or a number from the passage for each answer. From the passage. We, so I can understand that uh, I will choose my words from the passage. I won't change them. I will write the exact things. And it says write no more than uh, two words and or a number. So for example, I can write 25 questions. Let me see. Statistics. Mm. From the national workers. So what do you think? 
I will read this one and you will say me the keywords. What can be my keywords? Statistic from the National Workers' Compensation indicate stress plays the important role in stress role uh, plays an important role in matchmaking in retirement. So 22 will be a noun. If right, it can't roll in, I don't know, roll in giving up. Mm -mm. It will be a noun. And what can be my keyword? If you don't say, I will say. Let me say it. In here, I will look, look for national workers because it looks like a little bit specific to me, right? Maybe they will talk about the national workers, but I don't know, but it seems a little bit specific to me. Okay, stuffs take about, hmm. For absence, take about, I don't know. For absence from work caused by stress. For absence, take about, I'm really not sure. But work caused for stress and I can look for absence, but I am almost 100% sure, uh, sure that they will use a synonym for this. Not just time in our main, not just time is our main concern, but the great expenses generated consequently. An official insurer wrote sometime wrote sometime that about something of all claims were mental issues. Keyword alert: mental issues. Whereas nearly twenty five costs in all claims. Hmm. About nearly, they are synonyms. So maybe it will be a percentage too. And I think so to 24 will be a number because they are like, I'm looking for this sentence. And in this sentence, it seems to me logical to put another percentage too because they're, they are comparing something. Sports such as, woohoo, easy, sports such as something as well as something could be a treatment to release stress. However, specialists recommended another practical way out. Analyze workloads once again. Nice. I think it will be easy, but we will see. Okay, let me send you the questions from the chat part and we can start. Oopsie. Can everyone see it? Is it okay? Okay, let me see. Ah, I will give you one minute to read. 30 seconds. Let's start. Stress plays an important role in something. National workers. Stuff take about something for your absence. Mm, I don't know. How busy is TBTI? For a senior executive, his work weeks vary from a manageable 45 hours to 80 hours, but average 60 hours. I don't work that much. Do I? I'm not sure. 
sleep, scheduling, and family. If you see the answer, please say it to me too. Oof. Being too busy is highly subjective, yes. Disturbed sleep and declining mental and physical health. Mm -hmm. uh, compensate. National workers' compensation figures show stress causes the most lost time of any workplace injury. Oof. National workers' compensation figures show stress causes the most lost time of any, job, any workplace injury. The most important role, the most lost time. Okay, my keywords, very good. My keywords were the was the national workers compensation. I can see that word to indicate show. These are the synonyms indicate and show. Stress plays the most important role in workplace injury. And it is grammatically very, uh, correct to workplace injury. Okay. Where was I? Hmm. One word, two words. So I am still in the framework of my question. I'm writing no more than two words. Okay. Stuff take about something for absence from work caused by stress. Absence from work. Absence, absence from work caused by stress. I was physical. Hmm. Employees suffering stress are off work on average 16.6 weeks. The effects of stress are all are all too expensive, and I'm looking at my summary and say not just time is our main concern but great expenses generated constantly and it says um, um, the effects of stress are also expensive Very good, good Tommy. Very good, Miss Hyde. How about the others? Can you find? Can you see the answers? Can you can you like arrange it? Can you put on a scale on your brain to understand it? Like it follows a pattern like that. It goes. It taking a summary. I think most of my answers will be here. Twenty four point six. Where did you see it? Seven. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you were giving an answer. And question 24 is seven. Okay, now I understood. Yes, it is. It is one number and one word. So I am still. I'm still following the rule, no more than two words and or a number. One number, one word. Very good. Let's look at the questions. Let me send you the rest of it again, the stuffs. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, let's continue reading. Where was I here? Yes, the effects of stress are also expensive. I have the paraphrased version of it in my summary. Come get up, blah, blah. Claims for psychological injury counted for 7% of claims, but almost 27 of claim costs. Psychological injury. Very good. Do I have person in my question? No, so I, I should put it. 70% because I can't put here seven. Seven of all claims were mental issues, whereas nearly 27%. I don't think so. I should put here, if the question requires you to put a, a percentage sign, you should put, a, put any um, percentage sign. If the question requires you to put the euro sign, euro sign, you should put it. Hmm. You can write both of them. They are both acceptable percentage. Because in here, you can write no more than two words. And in a number, you can write it. And person, this sign is not counted as word here, actually. This is a good question. Jaipal, I asked, has no strict rules about that subject. So I can't, we can't be clear that much clear too, because there are no strict rules. You can write a percentage as like this, as a sign or as a word. Let's continue. Where mental issues were various nearly 27%. Uh -huh. Sorry, one thing, you shouldn't change and you shouldn't change anything from the passage. In here, I see it as seven percentage, so do not change it. Write exactly what you see. Do not change anything in this if it is not says the other way, other way, because it says from the passage, so we are not changing it. Let's continue. Sports such as some something as well as something could be a treatment to release to release stress. However, specialists recommended another practical method. Hmm. Experts say the key to dealing with stress is not to focus on relief, is not to focus on relief, a game of golf or a message, but to reassess workloads. Very good. I think this was an easy one. What do you think? The this question, only twenty five and twenty six was easy. I think other ones was a little bit challenging, but not that much. Very good. So I am writing my answer. If it is okay for everyone. You couldn't see the answer, let me see here. Any question related to here? How was it? Was it easy or difficult? Do 
Dave, do you want to speak? Yes. For this golf or massage answer, the sentence says, experts say the key to dealing with stress is not to focus on relief, a game of golf or a massage. So they are saying it is not this. So I don't think this is the answer. So you don't think this is the answer? Hmm, let me see. Hmm. The answer okay. should be meditation and yoga, which is in the passage. Let me see. Help me, where do you see the yoga and the other thing? Example, example, love of, huh. Because of the growth phase, the business in. Go to paragraph F. Weekends in the mountain, mental health. Woohoo. Hmm. Paragraph E, last sentence there's medication and yoga mm -hmm. enable you to shift the way. More regulating bad stress through methods such as meditation and shift points resurges. Meditation can. Hmm. Let me see. Indicate. Take about. Not just time, sports such as good. It could be a treatment to release stress. However, specialists recommended and not very practical way out. Analyze very close and once again. Could be a treatment. I think here, let's look at the meaning. It says here, sports such as golf, Golf as well as massage could be a treat could be a treatment. In here, could use as um, let me see. There was a possibility of these funds being a release a way of releasing stress, but they are not. And in here. However, specialists recommended another practical way out, analyze the workloads once again. So it just in the continuum, actually, the decision. But expert says a key to dealing with stress is not to focus on relief, a game or, or golf or a message, massage, but to reassess the workloads. So they are making the summary of it, actually. So I think the answer is still a uh, goal or a message. Massage. Right, goal as well as could be a treatment. However, specials recommended another practical way out. Analyze workloads once again. Mm -hmm. So do not go in, do not go like the, uh, do not go through the whole text. As I said at the beginning, where is it? 
<laughs> I don't know. The questions usually come up in the same order as the text. So it was like paraphrasing. They are summarizing one paragraph. So if it is in the one paragraph, I wouldn't go and look for another place for the answer. I would look for that one. And also, the it is usually located in the same or a few paragraphs do not spread across the text. But it is not always true. As we have seen in the passage one, it was spread across the text. We have read the whole text to find the answer. But it was a rather an easy one. You, you are right. OK, we did one reading passage one, and we did one reading passage two. It was stress of stress of workplace, stress of a workplace, stress of workplace. We talk about the percentages and we are taking the words from the passage. We are checking weeks golf, seven percent. Workplace injury. Yes. Do not forget the tips. Write the words from the passage. If you are required to write it from a word list, just write the letters, not the words. This is very important too because students, because the test takers are losing points because of this. And yes, okay. Now, let me see how many students are here. 13, okay, nice. Now I will give you a homework. After that, that a session finished, I will give you homework this reading passage to read. You should spend on 20 minutes. It's about the elephant communication. This is a reading passage. This is a passage three texts. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. And also, an extra, we have a diagram here too. This is one of my favorite animals. Ooh, grammar lesson. One of my favorite animal or animals. What should I use? Pills. Very good, it should be plural. Let me see here, and Something, buddy. No, with many mm, shoes. Okay, <laughs> here, for example, finding a should it be singular or plural? Plural. In here, it should be singular. Singular means singular means one. Plural means uh, multiple. If there is a a n, if there is an indefinite d, 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 d is not certain. Uh, d, d is d is used in another context in different contexts when you want to make it plural too. But if there is an indefinite article like a n. It should follow with, uh, with a singular noun. Okay, let me see. Let me, lastly, let me share you our post lesson survey to Come on. Here. Can I view it? Yes, I will be very glad if you can fill out our form. Summarize the question pattern, of course. Where was I? Let me show you my screen again. You mean the format, right? Okay, there are two types of question, uh, summary completion questions. Let me stop sharing that one. I hope I, I didn't interrupt anyone. 
There are two different types of summary completion questions. We have seen one of them today. Uh, it is in this one, there is a summary. It can be taken. It can be taken from uh, one to paragraph, or it can be it can be spread through the text too. But we will take the we will take the uh, words from the passage if we are not given if we are not given a word list. If we are giving a word list, they are probably synonyms of the word. And we are going to write just the letters, not the words. Um, let me see. These are general. These are fill in the blanks questions. The questions usually come up in the same order. So when you, as you read, you will see a summary. It is like most likely that they are in order. I haven't seen any. Other type, but I'm not sure. I'm not one. I'm not saying it for one hundred percent. The answers are located in more than one sentence. Do not forget that this is a summary completion question, so it will be summary of it. Think about how you will take how how you will summarize something. You wouldn't write it like sentence sentence. It will be not, like not taking, but you will summarize. The, the whole text in a short paragraph. So you should understand the meaning and you should pay attention to the grammar. Meaning and grammar, they will help you. Do not write the same words, read the whole thing and try to understand the, how it, it continues. Let me, ah, how we'll get the paragraph for homework. I haven't added yet. I will it in this second, but I am going to the library. And from the library, I am choosing practice first. You can see it, right? I am choosing to practice first, then I am choosing the reading. Now I have the questions, not completion. Summary completion three. You will see it under the name summary completion. Six. Go to class tools web page. Let me share the link with you. Go to Plastil's web page. I will, it is not uploaded yet. I will upload it now. Go to Plastil's web page. Go to the library. From the practice part, you will see summary completion six. So you can solve it. Do you have any other question? Today, my um, I am testing myself with the singular and plurals. I like giving homework. See, I think it like it's, it's reinforced the learning process, and it makes the learning as uh students job not only the teachers okay if you have fill out the form we are free to go have a nice evening. It was a nice lesson for me. I like the summary completion questions because they require you to think more. I like to tell things from different views. I like paraphrasing actually. 
I will be very glad if you can fill out a post-lesson survey, then go and do your homework, please. Maybe we can do a listening summary completion. We will see. Okay, everyone. Thank you very much for this session. Hope to see you soon. Bye for today. <laughs>